Okay, so what we're going to do here, we got the fish.r, which is on the website. We're going to take that file. What we're going to do is run a regression. So what I want to do, each one of these columns tells you, so in A1, it's the age of the fish. A2 is the average number of mosquito larvae per cubic centimeter. A3, water clearness index. A4, the water temperature in degrees Celsius. A5, mineral content parts per million. And B is the length of the fish. This variable, A1 through A5, are the independent variables. The dependent variable is the uh, B. Uh, this thing up here called the index, we can ignore that. So B is the one. Well, what we're trying to do is see what affects the length of a fish. Okay, so we, we get this data. I'm going to run all, first run this in. So I've run everything. This is just running in the data. I'm going to do that. So I go up here to execute. And then take a look at the console and see if it worked. Looks good. Okay, now I want to go back over here. Now I'm going to actually run. Okay, now I'm going to put the data, all of that data into a variable called fish. And then run the regression. So, so this one here sticks everything into this thing called fish, which is referenced over here. And then I'm going to run my regression. So I go up here, execute. All right. So I've done that. Now I want to see, I want to get a summary of that. I want to see what happens. So to do that, I go over here and I type in summary, S-U-M-M-A-R-Y, then G, which is, I'm going to type in this G, which is this letter up here. So I type in G, and I enter, and now I look. Now what this is telling me, where these stars are, they, that means these particular variables are, like this particular, this, deep, this independent variable A4 is actually worth keeping. And this dependent variable, independent variable A1 is also worth keeping. The ones without the stars aren't worth keeping. And if you notice, there's a, th these are p-values. So this is a very, very tiny p-value because that's an exponent that's 10 to the minus 14. This is a, a p-value of 0.9, which is a very large p-value. This is a p-value of 0.7, which is a large p-value. If it's a large p-value, and a large p-value is anything greater than 0 0.05, that means it's not going to be a useful variable in the regression. This is 0 0.01, therefore it's going to be useful. This is 0 0.69, that's, that's not going to be useful. So the ones we actually want to put in our model are going to be A1 and A4. Okay, so let's take a look at this back over here. So I want to change this, and I just want to keep A1 and A4. And then rerun it. Okay, execute. Oops, what did I do wrong? A4. Okay, so I was missing a uh, letter there. Execute. Now do summary. Okay, S U M M A R Y. Again on G. And I take a look at it. Okay, so now all of these are significant. We've got a strong p-value, a strong r-squared, the adjusted r-squared. This is the one we're interested in. A 0.79 is a very good r-squared. So what we have here is a decent linear model. Then we want to look at the residuals. We want to do what's called a residual plot. So I want to run this command and this command. And what am I? I'm, I'm assigning the residual data to this thing called death.residual, and then I'm going to plot death.residual. Okay, execute. And here's the plot. And what we're looking for is randomness in this picture. We want it to be, we want it to be kind of evenly spread. It's like, here's zero. So we want, we want these dots to be kind of evenly on either side of the zero. And they are pretty much. It looks a little bit like, eh, it's probably fine. So they're, 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 it looks random. What does that mean? Well, it kind of means does it look random. I mean, there's really nothing more scientific you can get than that. Does it look random? It's random. There's no patterns in there. It doesn't have any, like, curves, no curvy lines. It's, no, you know, no obvious curved lines. You know, you could, there's nothing really strongly curved there. Okay, so what that means is the residuals look okay. Um, let's see what else. We want to back over here again. We want to run something called a QQ norm plot that checks to see if the if the residuals are normally distributed, 
which is an important because we're the assumption one of the assumptions of regression is the residuals are normally distributed. So let's see if we get that. Uh, we should have a picture here somewhere. And the fact that these numbers, what happens? How do you tell if it's normally distributed? Well, we've if they are very, we've got this straight line here. If the plotted points, and these are little circles or plotted points, if they kind of come close to that line, then it means we've got a nice normal set of residuals. So it looks like everything's pretty well. This is we we, we should be happy with this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to ignore this for now, I'll do this later. 